I'm Larry Sutton, and you're watching Storytellers at Competition Plus TV. The wheel standers at Lions, uh, it was it was Bill Maverick Golden and it was Chuck Poole. Maverick, I helped him out in the early days uh, when he didn't have a nickel. He'd come by the race car shop I was working at, which also sold gasoline, and uh, I'd carry him for five bucks for uh, for some gasoline. And uh, but I knew Bill well. Well, they were having a contest of wheel stand contest and CJ had bought them both in. Well at Lions one of them started out and it would go to about three quarter track and set it down. Then the next one would go to the finish line. Well it was back and forth and they did not like each other. Chuck Poole did not like Bill and Bill didn't like Poole. Well it kept going. Well Maverick asked me if I would go to the end of the track, I was the one that was also on the walkie-talkie calling the winner. So Bill asked me if I would go to the end and take a road flare and stand right in the middle of the track and hold it as high as I could. And I said, okay. So I was down there right at the very end of the track and I'm holding this flare up and I looked like the Statue of Liberty. And here comes Maverick and he is flying and I could hear him trying to break it and everything and I'm going you know do I head for the hills or I sit here and get smashed and at the very last second Maverick set it down spun it around and stopped at the very end of the track and uh, so I I uh, was getting ready for pool to come in and I told him where he'd gone I was getting ready for pool to come down the track so I was getting ready to light another one of the flares and Bill says, no, Larry, those are my flares. I want them back. So I said, well, what do I do with pool? Tough. That's his problem. So I gave him the flares, and I'm standing there waiting for pool to come. Well, pool comes flying down the racetrack. Well, he's not slowing down. He goes off the end of the racetrack. He he goes into the sand pit, makes a right-hand turn, hit the truck that's going out the back gate with all the night's receipts, endos the truck. I watched in the dirt, endoed and go over the fence, out of the racetrack, but as he did, he snagged the fence, so I ran out there, and with the fog and the dirt, I can't see anything, but I can hear this motor running, and it was the electric water pump. So I go to that noise, and just as I get there, climbing out of this upside down car was Chuck Poole climbing out the window. And he stands up and he says, let that son of a bitch beat that. 